Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And today with NASA and EO Kids, we're gonna make an indoor farm. So get ready and get ready to get dirty. Um, this activity comes from EO Kids, The Shape of Farming, Water for Crops. And you can read all about why there's different shapes of different crops. If you've ever looked at them from an airplane above, or if you've ever looked at them from space, you can also see a bunch of different shapes. So feel free to read all about that in that issue. But along in that issue, at the end, there is the activity, our data viz, how does your garden grow? So we are going to do that activity today. All you need to do it are a few materials. First, an aluminum uh, baking pan, kind of like you would make a lasagna to give somebody. Um, and I like to use these. You can use other things as well. Uh, the reason I like this is because it's not going to make <laughs> any of my pans dirty. So if I want to go and bake a cake, I'll still have pans to do that with. Uh, the other reason I like it is because often they come with their own clear top, which I can use like a greenhouse later. And I'm up in the northern latitude, so it's pretty cold here still. So it's nice to have something to kind of trap a little bit of that heat to help my garden grow. So the other thing that you're going to need are some seeds, a spray bottle, and potting soil. So to do this activity, we are going to take our potting soil and empty it into our pan. All right. Make sure to do this somewhere where it's okay if you spill a little bit of dirt that it'll be easy to clean up. I'm gonna spread my soil around in my pan. All right, and then because I have three different seeds that I'm gonna try and plant here, I'm going to take and divide them into three sections so I know where I'm planting each one. So I take my seeds, I look at the back of the instructions and tell me how far apart I'm supposed to plant them. So, and then I go ahead and plant them according to the instructions. Cover them up with a little bit of soil. And then I would do that for each of the different sections. When I'm done with that, I get to spray them and make it very, very, very wet because those seeds will need to germinate and then grow. Now the next step is a great step too. We are going to take a digital camera or just like a cell phone and take a straight down picture of our crop every single day. Then after they've sprouted, you can go back and make a flip book, a video, a GIF, whatever it is that you're trying to do, but you can see the transition from just brown dirt to a green land cover when your crops finally sprout. What does this have to do with NASA? Well, NASA has satellites that look down and monitor the greenness of our planet. So they actually look to see where crops are growing, where crops might be dying. Same thing with forests or other types of land cover that are vegetation. That way we can see how seasons are affecting our land cover. We can also see if there's anything that's changed from year to year or if there's any climates in, uh, that has influenced how things have changed. So we're always looking down, trying to check out how our crops are growing. And you can do the same using your cell phone, kind of like a satellite, to be able to monitor your crop at home. I hope you enjoyed this activity and I hope you enjoy some others with Earth Observatory for Kids. Thanks for joining.